Hey, remember us talking about Matthias Arezzo, our goal leader, our highest average rating leader, most players of the match. He's fallen off a little bit recently, but still, he's he's quite a good player. And if we look at the season preview here, he's still considered the best striker in the MLS. Remember, remember him? Yeah, not only does his agent want stupid money, his agent wants uh, to lower, lower, lower his um, release clause down to $7 million. I think he might be on the way out. Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Football Manager. I took a little bit of a break just to make sure I don't burn out from this save because we still have some work to do in the schedule. We are going to be kind of be we're going to be kind of moving through time a little bit faster here going forward. But today we have Portland and Philadelphia, and as alluded to earlier, our squad dynamics are okay. Um, we do have some team leaders, which is very good. But some of our best players, if we look at our tactics here. Um, George Bello was hurt again, and for some reason the game doesn't want me to move him back into Parra's spot. Maybe when I go to the match, that'll fix uh, fix itself. Jordan Morris is a little bit down. We still don't have an exact solution in the midfield, but that may be more of a tactical issue than anything. We may be due for an upgrade in the keeper position with uh, Jamal Blackman, who technically is not as good of a sweeper keeper as he is just a regular goalkeeper. So maybe we put him on defend for that instead and see if that shores up some of the stuff that's been going on here because he's been kind of off but hopefully we're getting back on the ball here because we've had some very strong games recently if we look at the schedule here um uh, new england and vancouver were teams that we were supposed to beat by a lot and we did beat them by a lot so that's uh, excellent and so portland is another team that we should be taking care of and philadelphia is also one that we should be we play them at partial strength last time when we were in the middle of the North American Champions League. So we got to avenge that tie where we lost on a VAR penalty. So let's just go ahead and dive into the matches. Okay, before we get started here, I do just want to point out something is that we are going to keep Diego Gonzalez starting for now, but George Bello is going to be going back into there. He's been injured again. So I've got, I want to get him back into playing shape before we put him in there. So we're going to try to ease him in a little bit. Taylor Booth has been awesome to the point where even though uh, Duncan has been doing excellent on his side, uh, Booth may be doing even better. But once again, the story of at least this part of the save is that Arezzo's performance has dropped quite a bit. He actually went on a bit of a goal drought until the last game. So hopefully he's done with his goal drought issues. I'm worried a little bit that all the interest in him is making him just a wee bit distracted. Like I said before, if he's out, then Ludd's going to be slotted into the advanced forward position. I built this team knowing that I might lose a race, so I was just hoping to get a full season with him, not half the end of one season, the beginning of another half of the season, but it's fine. Let's go kick somebody's butt here. All right, so we do have some changes from last time. Our players are a little bit confused. But they're still warming up, and we have our dressing room here. And to our dressing room, this is a team we should be beating. Um, you know, if you care at the last performance, you'll do well. That's true. But I'm going to say don't let down the fans. Because I have, at least from my experience in football managers, that if you always just blindly follow through with what the assistant manager asks you, sometimes it misses the context and we've had two blowout wins. I don't want to settle for complacency. Sometimes you want to remind the players that they um, they actually are supposed to win these games. So hopefully we will. We're on the road in beautiful Portland where the dream of the 90s is still alive and it comes with a big choppy axe here. So Charlotte, the football clubs, we have our usual starting lineup here except for Diego Gonzalez. Uh, Kessler's face is covered by the stuff there, but it's fine. You can see that we've been moving back up the standings pretty well. We actually have two games to play more than some of our opponents. So we're going to be making up one of those today when we play Philadelphia a little bit later, which I guess one of the questions is, do I want to be playing my full strength squad versus this group when I have a slightly more important Philadelphia match? Because since that's an Eastern Conference match later, it's too late for that now. So looks like they're trying to go over the top of us. This is kind of a short field it is gusty, it's wet, that usually means we need to go to direct passing. So maybe we go ahead, we're on the road, let's go attacking. And let's go ahead and make our passing more direct. This should be okay. Um, anything else that we want to do here? I think this is all fine. Higher defensive line, fine. 
let's see what we do. Maybe we don't run at the defense since it's wet, but it's we're here now. So Cameron's throwing it in. Hopefully our defense can hold just a touch. But like I said at the beginning of this season, year two in MLS is one of those things where I really want to have two first-team strength squads. It is actually fairly straightforward to build teams like this. Ooh, that was very fortunate that that header did not go in. Not super excited about how our defense is doing there, but Kessler passing it over to Nathan, who amazingly didn't lose possession. Can anybody help Nathan out here? This is why I'm saying maybe I don't want to be running at defense with this tactic right now. Um, so Diego Gonzalez, or, well, Glez on the left, and nice cross, can't get it in there. And that's something where he's a natural center back, but he can play left back. It's kind of like Fuchs last year, where he can play center back, but he's a natural left back. So we'll just have to kind of work with it as Duncan getting the nice interception. There's Ludd passing it up to Reese, who's got a Rezo, and a Rezo is going to pass it to Nathan. Just got to get somebody in with the shot. There's Ludd, who at least gets it in there. That was a really good move that just didn't work out. And fortunately, it was not offsides. So Ludd into Derek, and Derek just not getting the near post corner. Not as overpowered as it used to be, which is fine. So there's us. Dom pretty much we're dominating possession right now, but we're not dominating the goal. And this is where setting expectations is going to be a little bit of a little bit of a thing here. I'd hate to lose on suddenly losing um, losing sight of Cameron here as Blackman actually jumps in and doesn't do the sweeper keeper role, just plays defense, sticks to the net at time. But there's again once again a Razo. If you look on the bottom right, six point five, not really contributing to the match. Um, very positively yet, but it just takes just takes a little bit for him to get uncorked. That's that's the positive uncork. So there's Nathan. Nathan needs to hit this. Nathan actually got a pretty good defensive play, but I don't. Okay, I'm sorry, but that whole ricochet off of Nathan at the very end that's a that's a little gamey there. That's all right. It's it's the old basketball move of you're you're falling out of bounds and you throw the ball at somebody else's foot as you're going out of bounds. So Nathan passing it up to Arezo, and Arezo not quite getting it, but at least he took a shot. I'm about to have to yell at my team and say I expect more from you, even though uh, Blackman and uh, other players are still upset with me for being a little too mean to them. They hold grudges for a while in this game. So there's, oh, what a beautiful pass by Sergio Ruiz. If you miss that, we're... Maybe the European clubs will not take as much of an interest to you, but that was completely set up by Sergio Ruiz, the deep-lying playmaker. There's Duncan passing it forward. Sergio just rocketing a video game-style pass to Arezo, who can do nothing but hit that shot. So thank goodness. Good to have a 1-0 lead. And suddenly, 7.2 on one goal. Shows you how little is actually dominating the match right now. But still, you take a 7 here. There's Chara getting back in, and suddenly, suddenly Portland is right back in this. It's time to demand more from the team here. Like, they just fell asleep. And this is one of, and this is one of the things you hear other players complain about this too. Your you're cross through, your pass through on the center backs here. Uh, Chara just ran past Duncan, and that was just a good move. That wasn't as egregious as some of the other ones, but our defense... Not dropping back very much. We're playing a higher line. We're going to concede some of those. Um, the difference between our for tactic last year and our tactic this year is that this one is a lot more like just we are going to score more goals and we're going to outscore people. Because we don't have that defensive midfielder anchoring the defense, there is some shit that we give up this time that we were not giving up last season. And I may be putting Bello in here if uh, Gonzalez is not going to be... Um, getting a cross in very well because he's not doing a lot to beat his team or beat the opponent right here that's a problem there we go duncan with a great interception there's lud lud over to duncan and then this is duncan territory good crossover to matthias oh two shots and two shots straight into a human body in other video games that would be good but here um our xg is high and our because of one defensive lapse um, we're dominating the match and we're tied up so hopefully we can get something here um Ludd over to Duncan. Duncan to Ludd and there's there's the kind of cross that we want although all the trees are in there ironically because it's Portland. Is that offsides? That might be offsides. It's not offsides. We're not getting a VAR review. We are getting a VAR review. 
Yeah, I was going to say, Morris just seemed to be completely in the wrong position for this. Um, oh, no, we got screwed. We totally got screwed by the VAR. Like, and I, I hate how the game does like the blue line and the orange line. It's it's the opposite for the teams that it should be. But at least from where I was watching it in real time, it looked like Morris was definitely offsides. But that's the kind of thing is that Jordan Morris has kind of disappeared the past few games is like, once again, our key player is not doing as good. Duncan the Kessler, however, has just been fantastic the past, past few games. Uh, Kessler actually racking up a bunch of goals in our uh, huge winning streak versus um, other people here. As I have a kitten that is trying to attack paper. Let's see if I can get the kitten over here. Halftime report. Tell me what you got. Right here. We got purrs. Somebody decided to dig out the whole his whole water bottle this morning or his whole water bowl this morning onto the floor just because he could. I think I have a cat that likes water. He always wants to jump into the bath with the kids. Maybe I should just throw him in there at one point. Just see. It's like, do you like water? When you're a kitten, this is the time to learn. But fortunately, we're up 2-0. There's definitely some problems here, but we're not going to be putting Duncan on at this point or we're not going to be taking Duncan off. Jamal Blackman's nervous. It wasn't your fault that you really conceded that goal. It's just sometimes, sometimes the other team, these are professional soccer players. Um, sometimes shit happens. Fortunately, that was the secret sauce that worked. I don't think we need to drop out anybody yet, but we will probably, um, we may give Lud some rest just so we can play him a little bit more here. And I might try Booth at the wing. He, he can play it. And what the F was that pass? Like, we're up 2-1, and we should be up more. So Morris over to Arezzo, back to Morris. This would be really good if we didn't have Jordan Morris just fucking up possession here. And uh, Diego Gonzalez, it almost feels like the left, the whole left wing is not developing quite as well with him today. And I don't know if that, how much of that's a defense here, but he needs, to, he needs to cross that. So Jordan Morris, oh, what? What a move until it, like, bounced off of somebody and hit the bar. So yeah, we're definitely bringing Bello in. Fortunately, we weren't threatened by that because uh, Gonzalez, he's he's got a good rating. Is there's a great pass forward? Oh, where's our penalty? Where's our penalty? Areza with the professional flop there. Clearly, that's what's going on. Yeah, that was um, VAR checking the penalty. Is that going to be disallowed? What? No penalty after video review. I called him professional flopper, but the game's not supposed to know what I'm saying here. Oh, man, we have got some uh, video review home cooking here this season. And that could be the difference here in the game, although we're doing pretty good. I'm going to be staying on attack. Um, I am not one to let up on the throttle anyway, but especially in Football Manager 2022, you don't want to drop down your mentality. That's a great way to let your um, opponents back into the game. So we're moving the ball pretty well. Um, I thought we were supposed to be more direct here. Sergio Ruiz trying to make it through. Whoa. Uh -uh. Okay, Morris is, Morris, you're done. You are just out of position. And um, yeah, let's get you out of there. So let's go ahead and look at the tactics. Okay, we're bringing Bello on for Diego Gonzalez. Um, we're going to keep dunking him for now. Um, who's on the left that's going to be pretty good? Um, Boya could be could be the move um if we bring in lud yeah if we sit lud kind of hate doing that with um how the game's going but we do have to look ahead a little bit so if we put boya on the left um i'm gonna actually try booth on the right wow okay same cat attacking different things now that's very exciting and then anybody else that looks like they're tired at this point i am gonna have one more substitution later but yeah jordan morris is a He's just, he's just not having a good game. All right, so we still have Diego Garcia. We can pop in in case any of these people get too tired. Uh, Nagbe, Ronnie is probably going to be someone we pop in here. Yeah. Um, Isaac actually can play attack midfield center. May do that for Nathan. Because Nathan, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of depth behind there because the one place with the tactical change is where we have some concerns for later but hopefully oh wow morris to nathan how did you miss that okay this is this is the game of how how the hell do you keep screwing this up 
So if we if we lose or tie, we deserve to lose or tie theirs. There's Chara. That was very fortunate to not be a goal. So I'm actually about to demand more here. I am just full of demands today. I think we're actually going to take Nathan out too. Oh my God, who missed that? Who missed that header? Was that Derek? Derek, if you, oh wow! Fortunately, we could not. Um, they they couldn't make a goal to save their life there, but. That is an uncharacteristically whiffed head header from Derek. I think we're going to give Derek a sit here in a minute. And he's having a good game too, but we are just tossing away possession here. I'm actually going to drop the tempo a little bit and uh, go a little bit shorter. We're going to, um, maybe we don't need to work the ball in the box as much, but we're going to get rid of this instruction here. All right. And I think it is time for some more subs. But we're going to keep a Rezo in there because he wants to be the star player. And he has the fitness to play two games in three days. Nathan, please. Oh, that, was just, that was just a little too much. Like, a Rezo could have had it, but he, he just didn't. All right, so they are they're trying to go over the head here. Oh, man. Have an open goal. I'm, I'm a little nervous. And, okay, and that's probably not going to be a penalty either. No, of course. There's no card, no nothing. So... Ref is ref is doing a terrible job. All right, so Derek, take a seat. Um, Diego Garcia, who's no longer having super aggressive aggression issues, that's fine. And then Nathan, I think we sit. We could put Nogbe in there. He's he's statistically good, but performance wise, he's been lackluster. Um, Isaac is okay. Shane O'Neill is a player that just hasn't gotten a lot of runtime lately. Um, he's up here just because I had other injuries. Um, I, I, this is this is just kind of a tight call here. Let's put Izak in there. Because um, the alternative, Nagbe, if we look at star rating, Nagbe is a little bit better. But I think Izak fits a little bit more of what we want to do. All right. So let's confirm, sub, and go. All right. I'm going to try not to move to more time wasting here, but hopefully Booth can get a good cross in. That's a good cross to Kessler, who gets eighth goal of the season and I think fifth goal in the last three games. So we're we're winning on crosses instead of winning on tactics. But, you know, Henry Kessler, this is why we haven't traded him, because he's just really good. And then, uh, oh, wow, Anunga. I forgot he was on Portland. That's right. They mentioned that in the pre-press conference. And Anunga is now taking a seat. Uh, definitely liked him last year. He was he was one of those good expansion draft picks that he didn't cost a lot of money. I was never really able to supplant him from the lineup, except, oh, what a great switchback by Booth, um, except for the fact that um, I had other players complaining about playing time. Oh, that would have been better if we had actually played it forward to somebody. Okay, so we're supposed to be passing shorter and into space, and Izak getting it to Booth. The Rezo, well, that is quite a shot. That just rock. How many times did we hit the woodwork here? We should have a we should have a statistic for that somewhere, but I'm not seeing it. All right, let's waste some time. Three to one. We should be able to carry this out. Like I said, my biggest concern at this point is points. So Duncan passing it over Sergio Ruiz, who had maybe the assist of the season, maybe the assist of the save at this point. It's the kind of play I was hoping he'd be able to make when I was like, hey, look, here's a, oh, what a shot by Raul. That's his first goal of the season, the kind of thing that I've been looking for him to do the whole time. But he's been he's been playing in his role as a ball-winning midfielder or box-to-box -box midfielder. I should know which one he is. I should know this tactic by now. Um... It's been a little while since I played, though. Oh, he actually got the goal on accident because he bounced it off another player. You know, it doesn't count unless you call bank. So suddenly this game that was really tight has turned into a 4-1 to one shellacking. And I wonder how much of that is just uh, we, got our, we took Portland's best punch and then we did it or now it's 4-2. And it would be tied if it wasn't for the other point I was going to make, which is the set piece goals. But yeah, once again, this is just a really good cross. And um, yeah, once again, just the whole crossing between our central defenders. 
That's a kind of weakness in the match in, in um, Football Manager 2022. Granted, my team takes advantage of it too, so it's something that both sides have. But it's one of those things where we're supposed to be marking our opponents and people are just running in unmarked and the AI just kind of sits there. That's where you can't exactly replicate the game entirely. So they're just fouling the crap out of Arezo and getting away with it. I, I think there may be some... Uh, I don't know, some jealousy or uh, you see like ref issues in college basketball where it's like this player is just passing through the NCAA. So screw them. What a technical shot by Sergio Ruiz as well. Just he's he has been the best player this match. He may not have the highest rating. He actually may have the highest rating. OK, Henry Kessler's got two goals off of two headers, but Sergio Ruiz has been a revelation this game so i said the midfield before i wasn't getting a performance from him i'm getting from performance from them today and that was just a really good play shot so five to two once again this is what our tactics designed to do we're going to concede some goals but we should be able to outscore our opponent it didn't work out very well in the nacl because we didn't actually outscore our opponent but um yeah you can't you can't win them all i guess but of course, we're going to win this one. And we have a... Tw oh, wow. We actually got one more play here. So, Booth, can we get a hat trick for Kessler? Nope. Garcia. Garcia almost getting the header down. Rookie Garcia. But yeah, this is a this is a successful game. That's for sure. We just got to finish it out. Preferably without an injury, please. There we go. Just clear it. Call it a day. And uh, Anunga going out with a yellow... Okay. I thought they subbed out Anunga. And yet it says he got... A yell oh, they must have subbed him in. I misread. Okay, so three goals to one in the second half. Y you can't fault that performance. Booth definitely playing admirably at the right wing, which is important because if we lose a Rezo, we're going to have to shift, shift things around. Um, Paulina Boya actually doing competently, and for Jordan Morris, who I'm still not super happy with, but not enough. Oh, and see, this is the problem is that we have players that are all complacent here. And we want them to feel good, but see, even after this, the players that didn't actually make it in, still complacent. Um, yeah, I don't really care about their poor form, um, blah, blah, blah. This is one of those things where you get into the MLS season enough, and the way team building works in the MLS is that eventually your teams are just going to be better than everybody else. And there's only so much that you can do to, like... Um, make it a challenge this is where i always have problems staying in the mls for too long so we're gonna make henry kessler happy and i'm just gonna move on to the next game because philadelphia is knocking on the door here very soon all right so here's a fun one that um we have players two and three in the player of the week obviously we're not going to overcome a hat trick from somebody but it's nice to know that kessler and Ari is both getting recognition that's good also one other development that is worth mentioning is sort of in the if you can't beat them uh eat them sort of thing here is that uh, we had a very interesting atlas player that we tried to uh, sign before here will trap um we currently have a transfer offer in for him uh like i said i tried to sign him more when i was running a defensive midfield here he did he opted not to sign for us but he's been transfer listed so i figure i know he's 30 but if we're just trying to shore up the middle of the field here at the end i've i've got i finagled the game to let me finally start using some targeted allocation money which has just been sitting in the bank for all it's a little bit tough to use but hopefully we can bring him in just for some more depth like i said squad player a little bit expensive for a squad player he is willing to take a pay cut to join us though so let's go ahead and get to the philly game all right so obviously with the schedule congestion here and we're the only game in the season or we're the only mls game today we got to do a little bit of squad rotation. Arezo actually is going to be going into this game tired with a high risk of injury. So we're probably going to be slotting Ludd in for him at some point. Booth and Bello start here. Para off the bench. We do have uh, Facunda Matter, which I always I always forget I still have him, is uh, available up here. And we have some other players, just some depth options that aren't really getting in here. But like I said, we want to be able to just slide in a lot of bodies back and forth to make it work. But hopefully we can get some better business on with yeah uh, Matias Rezo is not fully match fit but he's definitely going to start if he's going to piss and moan about his playing time before the season even starts oh boy our fans are um not happy with me they don't they don't know what they're talking about um I need you to pick off where he left off last time um I'm just you know that's that's fine 
And uh, it's not the, the world changing is talk in the world. But we want everybody to make a difference. That's fine. Let's go. Uh, I really need Darlington to do a little bit better today, especially because Sergio Ruiz is unfortunately tired. Our two best players from last time are on the bench, but that's okay. Um, I'm hoping for a performance today. Yes, and once again, the Charlotte crowd not filling out. Of course, this is not exactly how um, Bank of America Stadium looks, but it's okay. Like, the upper seating is supposed to be tarped off and everything. It's it's football manager. We're not looking for realistic-looking stadiums. So here we go. We have crept our way up to um, third place. We can put ourselves back in the pole position if we can win this match, which has now cursed me because, um, once again, we're not at full strength. We're not at full endurance. I probably should have sat some people uh, versus Portland, but, you know, you take the points where you can get them. The season is just going to be what the season's going to be. There's Jordan Morris. Please do better with this chance. Uh, I see what he was trying to do. He had a really magical run towards the end of last season as an inside forward on that side, and... He started off this season really well. Some of this may just be that some of our players just need a little bit of rest, like the aforementioned Arezo. But we're starting here. Only real big tactical changes that we're making long kicks. That's not great. Um, Duncan just getting dominated on the headers lately. And because of our... Um, yeah, we're, we're going to do that. But because of the way our schedules work, we're not having like a weird two-week break like we had before. I think that was a weird season because of like olympics or something olympics or world cup bello bello already with the yellow card he he does that so hopefully hopefully that doesn't become an issue you got to get him to stay on his feet so it's like either he's injured or he's out or he's suspended okay blackman fortunately doing the thing here uh is he is he playing as a sweeper keeper right now I don't know. Maybe I should go more attacking here as well. There's Morris again. Really? Really? Okay, let's look at the tactical here. Um, yeah, we definitely we definitely want to keep him as a goalkeeper. I hate how when you make adjustments to the tactic um, and it's right before the match starting, it becomes a little bit of a problem. But yeah, Arezo, we got you get, we got to get a good half out of you at least. Like, he, he had really high endurance before, and now he's been uh, eating some good barbecue or something. I don't know. Come on, hit this shot. That was that was close. I mean, that's the, that's the right move. Um, our attack is just not doing a ton here. Derek, probably not who we want taking that infield kick, but it's okay. Um, Nagbe, just doing what he's done the whole time I've played him, which is just passing it to the wrong team. Like, he forgets what team he signed for when he cleared waivers. Which, once again, I've, I've talked about this in the prior episode, is that, um, or one of the prior episodes, is that the waiver system for uh, MLS is busted. Pretty much no other team makes waiver claims ever, so you can get whoever you want. Um, it's, it's the kind of thing where, I know Nagbe had kind of an expensive contract, but he's, uh, he's really somebody that shouldn't have ever cleared waivers. And we're going to play a Razo here through this half, I think. I think he has it in him. And then we'll put Ludd over in the second half. Thank you. All right. So 0-0 zero, zero to start with. 6-5 from Arezo. He's playing tired, so I'm not I'm not going to like hound him for that, but man, they are they're trying to go over the top on our defense and that's very close to a goal. Good lord. All right, not happy with that. I'm not going to demand more yet, but we should be doing a lot more on offense than we have been. So if we look at our instructions real quick, let's try going more direct here again. Um, let's try shooting on sight, and I think we're, we're not at demand more territory yet, because fortunately our defense is kind of holding, but Derek's been Derek's been a little disappointing this episode. He's He's done so well for so long, I think... Some of it, our team's just kind of tired, and I think we have to go and say that we're just, this is unacceptable, because it is unacceptable. All right, and we're going to, um, I should have subbed at halftime. We need to go more attacking first off. That's true. We're going to put Ludd up here, and um, 
I could put Booth up on the right hand side again and bring in Duncan. That may be fine. Because Booth Booth did pretty well there before. Um, anybody else that we want in here at this point? Um, Ronnie and Nagbe have both been kind of garbage. Let's, um, Ronnie's motivated though. So let's put Sergio in, Sergio Ruiz in there. And, um, we've got some other players that we can run here in a little bit. I think this is a start. I'm not happy with how Nathan's doing. I'm not happy with how a lot of this team's doing. Um, and we'll have to watch Bella. We'll probably have to put Para in at some point just to get that to work. But we we need we need you guys to uh, do do a little more for us today. All right. So all we gotta do is just make it through another very crowded portion of the schedule. I'd love to get six points here, but if we if we don't win today, if we only tie, there we go. Booth just um, he unfairly pushed. Well, that's nice. I unfairly got denied a penalty last time because uh, Matthias kept getting mugged. That's fun. All right, so big kick here, big cross. Blackman fortunately not walking the goal into there. I you know what the assistant manager was like. Let's try long kicks. That's not really Blackman's game. Um, kicking is at eleven. Like he does, he does okay. But I think, I think we're getting rid of that instruction. Um, yeah, that'll be fine. Let's confirm changes and see what else we can get here. Um, all right, so Duncan with the long throw to the opposition. I'm sure there's a strategic reason for that, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, someone in the comments can tell me. Um, but obviously our, our striking is not doing very well because Ludd is um, just not doing good here. And I think it is time for us to demand more because this looks like a goal in the making. That hit the crossbar. Yeah, you you all have just got we gotta we just gotta whip it in the shape. That's all it is. I think we're actually going to... Um, oh, oh boy. Lud's injured now. Okay, well. It could be a pulled groin. Um, you know, we're going to switch tactics. Sometimes this works. Sometimes it doesn't work. And that's okay. So Jordan Morris is going to go up. Um, Lord save us, I guess. Um, boy is going to go over here. Azak's going to go over here. Pretty sure that leaves me with one more sub. Um... Like, I think if we, our defense hasn't, like, Derek hasn't been great. I'm pretty unhappy about that. Ronnie's still motivated, so let's go ahead and put Kessler in for Derek. And Derek is having an uncharacteristic slip in form. And we're going to see, <laughs> we're going to see how screwed we are by leaving Bellow in on a yellow card. Hopefully, hopefully not too screwed, but... Sometimes you just got to deal with an injury in the middle of a game, and what can you do? And I should probably actually have Kessler on the right-hand side. He's been doing really well there, but that's that looked like a goal in the making. So Derek making good defensive play and then getting pulled off the field. That's that's okay. Um, all right, so Oliveira moving up to Blackman, who is now launching it back to Jordan Morris, who gets it to Azak. Please do something with this. Azak, come off the bench to work some magic, and there's a corner kick. All we have at this point is set pieces. This is just like last season. We're in the middle of the season. All we had was set pieces. I thought that was Derek taking it. Oh, wow, was that not a goal? So Morris went offside in the area again. Bella's unhappy, probably by the feedback. But, you know, we should we should be winning this match. And if we go 0-0 uh, zero, zero here... Um, We've been making more goals. Let's actually slow down the tempo a little bit. Let's shoot on sight. Let's ditch the overlap for a minute. Let's play a little less wide. Uh, let's be a little less expressive. We are going to counter press. And this needs to go up. This is this is where the tactic goes awry, is that we need to, we need to play much higher and use tighter marking. Okay, so this is this is supposed to go from a uh, low tempo to a higher tempo. In fact, I'm going to go very attacking. We really, I really want to get a goal here. We're at home. It's going to be fine. They're trying to defend narrow. Demand more one more time. Everybody's 
This should not, this, this look that just, it's the football manager clock tick. Sometimes it's the game's just like, we're just going to keep going and keep playing even though, oh wow. And now they're down a man. With a few minutes left. Well, we're, we should stay on very attacking now. So Bello whiffs a pass. I mean, that's, that's just how it goes. He's, we traded how many draft picks that we were never going to play to get him. He's one of those players that he's a wonder kid. He's going to be a world beater eventually. For now, he's just our uh, first option at left back. I swear to God, if they score a goal on us with a man down right now, I, I'm not going to be, like, surprised at all. <laughs> let's let's be real here. There we go. Look! Football manager, football managing the, uh, the middle of the defense here. Here's Booth. Please do something. You were playing for Bayern before. Nope, that's not going to do it. We're just going to we're just going to clock out here. Um, maybe last second. We really, we really should be winning this. And of course, nothing, nothing doing. We just waste a chance in the middle here. And uh, Diego Gonzalez has gotta, gotta get the ball up in time. Uh, Ronnie over to this, and yeah, this is um. I guess this is the problem is that we got we went there. You go, Sergio Ruiz, make something happen here at the end. Bello, make something happen. We're supposed to be hitting our crosses early and shooting on sight. We are just wasting time now. Somebody shoot the goddamn ball! Oh, I just went to swearing here, at the end of the game. Well, there we go. Yeah, um, that's unacceptable. We are out of time. We didn't look for a shot at the end. I literally had shoot on side on, and that was piss the match away. So thrash arms. Um, we should have won that. There's no excuse. Yeah, fuck what the assistant manager said. That was terrible. Um, send the assistant in there. It's fine. So we squandered a chance to go to the top of the league here. Um, shocking, absolutely shocking. That was grim. That's true. Um, Robin Ludd is actually injured for five to 11 days. So we'll deal with that. And, um, I slammed the team. The attacking midfielder revealed that Wells is absolutely furious at the team's performance and let them know in certain terms how unhappy he was. That's, that's actually true. And we, um, let's see if we have any players complain about that. Because if we look at, um, my home screen under promises, um, Jamal Blackman is still very happy with how my team talks are going. So yeah, that's, uh, that's all fun, I guess. So yeah, um, that's football manager in a nutshell. You can outplay your opponent, but you're not always going to win. Um, but sometimes what, um, are we willing to discuss trading Jamal Blackman? Our assistant manager apparently needs to get pulled over from here so that's a that's a little bit of a problem we're not actually actively shopping him right now but that's going to do it for this one um transfer hits a snag um not currently have enough salary cap to accommodate him in the squad charlotte need to spend this much in general allocation money to buy down one or more of the club's players and complete the deals it stands and then reselect what has gone through and this way can free up necessary cap space um Yeah, I think I'm I'm gonna give this a think. Well, really, okay. So Palcha is going. They did show an interest in Sergio Ruiz, and this is um, is this Mexican first division? Yeah, interesting. Nobody wanted to buy Sergio Ruiz before because the salary demands were too high. So we'll see how that goes. But that's gonna do it for this one. Um, we're close. We're moving in the right direction. Um, it sucks that we've tied Philadelphia twice because that's a team we absolutely should be beating. Um, a little bit of that is some of my management powers playing my top team against a lower against a lower team. But here we go. It's like the four, the five, the five. That's not going to matter as much when we get to playoff time and things shit the bed. But we're going to be fast forwarding to another place later in the season next time. And that means that we may have some U.S. Cup action. It means this may have been the last ride for Matias Arezo here. So let's take a quick look at his stats here. Because he started off super, super, super strong. Um, but if we look at his form, what has he done for us lately? 6-5, um, 7-6, six, six, So he was... Is this the right direction here? Yeah. So when he's good, he's really good. I guess that's the tale of being a striker. 
when he's good he's really good but when he disappears he has a tendency to disappear and i know a little bit of this is tiredness and a lot of it is uh, other things but we'll see for now that's going to do it and uh, thanks for watching y'all take care <laughs>